So we're doing this again. So um, flea markets are kind of cool. I mean, I've had some experiences to going to a flea market. So I'm gonna talk about it. So yeah, one time I uh, spent three weeks looking for a copy of Batman Arkham City for the Xbox 360. And I was about to give up one day when there was this one man at a stand and he was selling only video games. He had a box full of Xbox 360 games and by a box full, I mean like 10 of them. And then one of the games was Batman Arkham City. So I bought it for like dirt cheap, like a hundred pesos, which I think it's not even that expensive in American. It was definitely worth it in the end. Although I do feel obligated to mention my most recent finds at the time of me making this video. When I can show you my haul. So basically, um, well, let's start with the, like the most common items to the more rare items, so yeah. Let's start with Take Along Gordon, which was made in 2002. It does not come with the tender. It's a high quality model. That's basically it. Uh, let's see, um, Sir Handel, yeah. Erdosel Handel, 1996. Let's get the camera to focus for a little second there. Um, his face is really small, but it's actually really detailed. His sticker came off, but it's still a detailed model. And let's start with, and um, here's a Sonic um, bubblegum dispenser holder thingy. His hand came off, but I have it in, yeah, I put it in his, um, in the gumball dispenser part. So I, like, at some point I can glue it back on it. I'll just put it over here. Then we got one, let's get to the more, like, uncommon items. So here we got the Toy Island bendable Sonic figure. I found this at some seller. He was just selling random stuff, and this was one of the cheaper items. He didn't know what he had, and also I kind of feel bad for, you know, buying this off of him for dirt cheap. Although he did sell anime figures, so yeah, no regrets there. Um, we got um, Fisher Price Percy dated 2009. Doesn't have tracks and tires. That's really it. We got Playrail Ryan. The front of him was kind of messed up, but it's fine. I painted his buffers a bit. That's really it. A Batman figure. I'm not sure if this is official, although I doubt it since it has one of those um, light up parts that most knockoff toys do. But let's get to uh, one that cost me way too much. It'll still work there. This Joker figure. I like this Joker figure because it at least gives me at least some form of the Arkham Joker. But yeah, it's a really cool figure. Highly detailed, like so though. It's still cool. We got Shaggy Rogers. This was dated 2001. I can't find the company that made it. He is articulation. He has a lot of it. He has head articulation. Watch. Um, he has head articulation 360. His articulation is in the neck, though. Which, I mean, makes sense. I don't think I'll... This is really high quality, though. But, um, his arms... Yeah, they can do this. Cursed, but I find it funny. His legs, or I, I think his legs are way too short and his torso is like normal size, but his legs are too short for me. Although I can get why so I don't break in half. Then we'll get to my holy grail of the collection. That's right. The Cow Toys Sonic plush. Dated 1993. Um, he's one of the rarest items I have and I got him for really cheap. I'm just going to say this is a really good plush. He still has the three spikes like Sonic used to have back then before he went 3D and everyone figured out how to do it. So yeah, um, well, time to go to the end card. Yeah, so that's the end of the video. Um, here's some fan art by, um, Blue Shelly and Oliver Francesca91. They're really cool people. Go subscribe to them. They're, they're really cool. And, um, that's really it. Um, I don't know what else to say other than, um, subscribe like or something share the video everywhere i need i need the algorithm to respect me that's really it bye bye